from WXII 12 News, this is Breaking News. And breaking news is first at 4 o'clock. An active homicide investigation is underway in Greensboro. This is a look at the scene on Wellesley Drive West. That's near Guilford College Road and Westgate City Boulevard. Details are limited, but the Guilford County Sheriff's Office has confirmed one person's dead. Another is in the hospital. We know deputies first responded to the scene shortly after 10 a.m. We will pass along more info as soon as it becomes available. More breaking news out of Burlington. A two year old boy is in the hospital this afternoon after being shot. Now this happened just before two this afternoon on Albright Avenue. It's not clear how the shooting happened, but Police tell us it was an accident. We're told the child is expected to survive. Let's go to Montgomery County. The sheriff's office there says the suspected remains of Alicia Watts have been found in the town of Norman. Her boyfriend, James Dunmore, is in custody, charged with murder. Watts was last seen alive, leaving Dunmore's home in mid-July. She had been reported as a missing person with an active investigation underway for weeks. Investigators are giving an update on the case this afternoon. We will, of course, pass along any more information as that becomes available. More breaking news this time in Winston-Salem. First responders have just rescued a man from a tree. You are looking live from the scene on Lane Street. Firefighters say the man got caught in a harness while cutting trees. Our crew is on the scene saying the person is out safely now. Crews are starting to clear the scene, but as you see, a pretty uh, hefty response here from our first responders this afternoon. Another hefty response this time in Atlanta at the Fulton County Jail, where in about three hours, former President Donald Trump is expected to surrender to authorities. It is over the charges accusing the former president of trying to overturn the 2020 election results in that state. He is one of nearly 20 people charged in this case. And Lindsay, once he's at the jail, the former president will be arrested, booked, and possibly take a mugshot. And in a last minute legal move, he has replaced his top Georgia lawyer with another attorney. Ivan Rodriguez has the latest. Authorities in Fulton County, Georgia, are preparing for the arrival of former President Donald Trump, expected to turn himself in Thursday evening. Trump is accused of being the head of a criminal enterprise that was part of a broad criminal conspiracy to overturn his electoral defeat in Georgia. The other 18 defendants include former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and ex-Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani. The former president faces 91 charges across four separate criminal cases. In Atlanta, extra security precautions will be taken when he arrives at the jail. He will be coming into a secure arrival point. There won't be any other prisoners. There won't be any extemporaneous um, jail employees. On the GOP debate stage in Milwaukee Wednesday night, candidates were asked if they'd support Donald Trump, even if he's eventually convicted. All but two raised their hands. One who did, former Vice President Mike Pence. Every one of us on the stage signed a, a pledge to support the Republican nominee. And uh, uh, frankly, uh, uh, my hand was raised in that spirit, just in, in keeping my word. One who did not, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. His character matters, the truth matters, and that his conduct is below, well below, what we should expect from a president of the United States. In Atlanta, I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. In Lexington this afternoon, a father is accused of seriously injuring his one year old daughter. According to court documents this Thursday uh, from the Davidson County Sheriff's Office, we're told Christopher Gray is being charged with felony child abuse, accused of intentionally hurting that child. His bond is set at $250,000. In High Point, a chiropractor is being charged with misdemeanor sexual battery and use of premises for indecent exposure. High Point Police confirms those charges have been filed against Jeffrey Frick. Police tell us he runs a chiropractic office on Lexington Avenue. And staying in High Point, investigators are looking into what caused a house fire. It happened overnight on Dillon Road near Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. The fire department says the home is destroyed. No one was home when the fire started. One person is charged with driving while impaired after crashing into the Mount Hope Fire Department this morning. State Highway Patrol says Kimberly Moser did not stop at an intersection on Foster Road, driving through the intersection and hitting a parked car, then the building. Troopers say Moser was taken to the hospital. No word on the extent of their injuries at this time.